so about to celebrate 100 years, which is, you don't actually realise the enormity and the gravity of it until you actually um, get there and all of a sudden it's like, wow, this is actually quite significant. So not many businesses in Dunedin have got to 100 years. And um, so we're very privileged. It's going to be a, a terrific time, um, well earned, and uh, we talk about how many companies in Dunedin have been able, fortunate enough, good enough to reach the 100 years. It's a, a huge milestone, um, so we're very proud of that fact. I think in, in today's environment, any business to, um, to be able to reach 100 years, it's, it's amazing, it's, it's really incredible. So, you know, I think hats off to, uh, to Dunedin City Motors. Um, wow, big achievement, great achievement. Officially we turn 100 years on the 16th of May, but we were actually in operation in April in 1923. So um, probably if you go back over those 100 years, probably the biggest milestone was in 1956 when we actually moved into Anderson's Bay Road and we are the only dealership here. All around it was houses, so you now look at Anderson's Bay Road and it's this thriving um, industrial hub of, of, of businesses but we were actually first here with the A-frame, which a lot of people may remember an A-frame building on the corner. And in those days, um, the, the, we had three salespeople. The first salespeople got to work in the morning would have the desk and a telephone, one telephone. No computers, big different, different times. And as time went on, that uh, building was demolished and then, uh, of course, the bigger yard, larger yard was uh, developed. A lot of people might remember our three branches we had in Dunedin. Um, we've now got two branches in Dunedin, so we've got a here on Andy Bay Road and one further down on Andy Bay Road. But we've also got a branch in Omru and in Alexandra, so we've um, shrunk and grown. Every year that come along, you had to re almost relearn the product of the vehicle uh, because things change, we're always changing in the most positive way. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, one thing hasn't changed and that is you deal with people. So it's a, it's a big thing of the dealership um, that um, certainly Dunedin City of Motors has prided itself on over the years, is ability to get along. And you end up dealing with generations of, of clients as well too. Um, the father then has the, gets married perhaps, um, you know, has children, you're dealing with um, two or three generations. I still think the, the best part is actually meeting, meeting and greeting people. Um, I really enjoy the people side of it, always have. Hard work. Um, great staff who um, actually do care and, and that, that's, that's one thing that you know I always say when I employ staff I've always said if I can have a coffee or a beer with them then they're, they're probably a good person that someone else will like as well and um, they really care and customer loyalty and support through the years with um, obviously loyalty to the brands of two amazing brands Ford and Mazda so we're very privileged to have those as, as our flagship brands. The big celebration is on the 13th of May, so a very rare event in, in New Zealand probably. So the, the, the idea was to get 100 cars, one from each year, so from 1923 through to 2023. There's going to be some really cool cars here, some really good stuff from both brands, and there's some cars that people probably haven't seen. So uh, yeah, going to be a really good display, uh, cars through the ages for 100 years celebrating Needham City Motors. The best part about it for me is um, still jumping in a, a new car and the privilege of that I've never ever forgotten and how exciting it is. So obviously I want to thank everyone that's um, helped us through this journey over the 100 years. So our, cust our loyal customer base, um, the amazing sponsorship partnerships we've had with the Highlanders, the Otago Rugby Team um, and latterly Life Matters Suicide Prevention Trust and the various clubs. Um, and, and, um, so. It's, it's been a two-way relationship and it's been really special, so um, some great memories of um, people who have come through those years. So, and of course to the staff, the staff are, are incredible and they have been for, and you know, every time someone leaves it's, it's um, sad, but you know, life moves on and, um, and it's great when we get a new person come in and they all say how great it is to come work with us, so it's awesome. On a personal level, I'd like to um, thank um, everyone that's helped me through the 100 years, whether it's been um, my former managers, um, Ian Lambie, Roger Taylor taught me a lot, both those guys, um, and, uh, and the managers of my staff that I've worked with through those years, and the Colonial Motor Company, who we're a subsidiary of, who have always been very good and supportive.